Good morning. I'm uh, Jorge Tamari Degenhardt. I'm the, the head of the Fixwin Search and Rescue Aircraft Replacement Program for Canada. And today, taking the opportunity of being here in Seville, uh, for those of you who are not as lucky as we are, we'll bring the C-295 for Canada a bit closer to you. So we'll uh, see a bit the modifications that we have introduced in this wonderful machine and we'll do a small tour on all the changes and uh, capabilities that we have implemented in this aircraft. So all in all, we have invested close to 1 million man-hours of engineering in developing the Fexman star version. So as you can imagine, we have modified almost all the systems in the aircraft and we have brought the C295 to the next level. One of the main modifications we have done is related to the aerodynamic performance of the machine. Okay? One of the challenges we had was to bring the C295 farther and faster so the Air Force is able to cope with the search and rescue missions in remote regions within Canada. In rough numbers, we have increased the range in close to an 8% and reduced the fuel consumption in around 4-5%. How have we done that? So, we have, in, we have integrated the winglets, which are now standard to the fleet. And we have also developed a full enclosure of the main landing gear, which is intended to significantly reduce the drag uh, of the aircraft. All this has been done without altering the unbelievable performances of the main landing gear. So one of the beauties of this aircraft is the performance in unprepared runways and this, all these uh, capabilities have been unaltered through this modification. We have as well integrated HF antenna in the antennas of the aircraft. So you, will, you, will, you now don't see the antennas because they are integrated in the vertical tailplane. And you can also see that we have installed vortex generators in the tail cone of the aircraft, which is also significantly contributing to reduce the drag of the aircraft. We will follow with the, with the mission system of the aircraft. This is a, this is a search and rescue version, so we have a, the fully integrated uh, tactical system installed on board this machine. We have three main uh, sources of uh, sensors for this, uh, for this sweat. Okay? The first one is the search radar that you can see. This is the radar, which has been also reinforced for uh, the aircraft to be able to operate in, in unprepared runways without damaging the radar itself. In the nose of the aircraft, you will see the electro-optical and infrared camera, which is providing all the imagery to the mission console that we'll see once we step into the aircraft and as well into the avionics. So the cabin is one of the basic capability enablers of the C-295. With a 12.7 meters long and a 3 meters long ramp, this is the largest unobstructed cabin in its segment. If you think on the maximum takeoff weight, 23.2 tons, which equals the maximum landing weight of the aircraft, and a maximum payload in the standard versions of uh, around 9 tons, this is making the cargo, transport, and aerial delivery capabilities of the C-295 massive. Okay? And these are ideal for the Royal Canadian Air Force Search and Rescue missions. But it's much better if we jump inside the aircraft and we look into the details. So the aircraft is equipped with two spotter windows. Okay? We have two positions for the SAR technicians and we have installed larger uh, spotter windows so the SAR technicians can look through them searching for the targets they need to rescue. As you can see the depth uh, that we have in here, the, spotter win the SAR technician can directly look through it and look for targets on ground. This is the mission console. It's a two positions console for two sensor operators and all the tactical information coming from the sensors that we saw before, surveillance radar, AIS, uh, electro-optical and infrared camera is available here and can be controlled from these positions. And now the cockpit. This is massive. We have integrated Collins Proline Fusion Avionics into the C-295. You can see larger tactile displays with loads of information of it. We have terrain awareness and warning system information, overlaid weather radar information. We have synthetic vision systems through the EVS cameras in the front of the aircraft that can be displayed here in the cockpit as well. We can have the electro-optical and infrared imagery displayed here in the cockpit again. We have integrated a head-up display. In few words, we have increased situational awareness for the crew and a reduced workload as they can have access to all the information. Top-notch avionics, the C295 was deserving. And this is basically it. 
if the C-295 is an amazing platform for Canada, we made it smarter, we made it faster, and it flies even farther.